You talk about esports. Yeah. Well, well, volleyball just got sent off. Yeah. How that talk? How'd your 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 speech go? It went really well. Did you really fire well. him up. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, mean, I gave you, him some you good talked advice to him last year. Yeah. What yeah. was what was different this year? Is that what you were writing down? Uh, we talked about like. Is that what uh, you were writing? Before yeah. You were there? Yeah. So we talked about uh like two types of competitors like you know uh, used a reference of Michael Jordan you know Michael Jordan probably was arguably like one of the best basketball players of all time but I would say he's an icon in all sports industries as a competitor you know what makes yeah. him a great competitor uh, what, what do you what, think what is it? that Jordan yeah I think his his belief in himself I mean Jordan I mean I don't I mean I, I I'm not Sports, I don't. I don't look into it that much, but he, he, Jordan thought he was the best. Yeah, and from, I mean, from early on, I mean, and, and I think his, his the power of belief is is strong. Yeah. So, do you think? Did you watch the uh, documentary? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I thought we, like my takeaway, and this is what I told the the volleyball girls. Uh, my takeaway was after watching the whole thing is he had, he had a, like a, an attitude about it. It was like. Like he he would play uh, basketball or whatever, and it, it it somebody say something like he would just find like triggers and cues, like throughout to like take himself to a, another yeah. another level of like, hey, I know I'm good, like he, like you said, he believed in himself, but he also was like, I'm gonna show you how good yeah. I am, and and he usually did it in the most pressure situations, right? Uh, like so, who, who's who's more of a uh, Game or him or Kobe? Because mm. that I mean, have you seen the? I'm pretty sure it was the doc, it was the, is it the documentary on Kobe or the, the Team USA documentary when it was just talking about? Um, have you seen it? No, I had when seen he was it, so. he was playing overseas at the I don't know if it was the Olympics or the World Championships Championships whatever, but he was playing with Gasol, I think that's his name, and uh, that's that was his teammate back home, and he was playing for Italy or something. Yeah, and um, they said the night before they played each other. He went over to his house and was like buddy buddy with him, loving on, he's you know, talking with his family. Um, right before the game or something, he told one of the I don't know whoever else is on the team. He said, "I got him." No, he said, "I'm running him over first play." First play, he freaking they threw the ball to Gasol and he freaking shouldered him and put him on his butt and walked over top. Like it was completely different. So he he knew like how to separate, you know, friendship yeah. and competitiveness and like that. Kobe. Like all the stories yeah. you hear about him. But all right, get back to it. so so oh. the like to to take from that and kind of really, like I I talked about Jordan Burroughs, you know, and I didn't really bring this up, but like remember when he wrestled Askren? Yeah, it's like. Well, they blew him off the stage. Blew him off the stage, and Ashker was like, "I didn't know you were going to do me like that." He's like, "This is how I feed my family." Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, is, this is busy. This is different. Yeah. When when you cross the line, like you're gonna get my best. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we talked about uh, two like basically the. I said this is Coach Knox's theory on competitors. I see like I see two types of competitors. One that's like that that that, that that's just like I'm gonna show you how good I can be. I'm gonna take like I take offense that you think that yeah. you can hang with me, and a, a second type of competitor that is just relentless on their effort. They break yeah. people. You know what I mean? When well, like, I think the best have both. Yes. Yeah. And that, that I, uh, but I see I, I see some people have one, and not the other. But like you said, best have both. But I've seen guys that weren't physically very talented. Just consistently effort, effort, yeah. effort, always showing up and, 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 and minimizing mistakes and just giving maximum effort and physically and mentally breaking people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, and I think, you know, we kind of, I talked to Amy about it before. Amy's you know, that person. Yeah. Amy, I mean, from everything I've heard, Amy was. Yeah, that. she's going to show you how she's good she's going to run you. She's going to run you over, and then after the game, they can be friends again. But from everything I've heard, it just. The little encounters I've I haven't been around Amy a lot, but she seems like it's business. Um, and I think if you want to win, and you want to win consistently, 
we were talking about earlier, like it, you, you've, you've got to develop, you know, foundation where, you know, next year you're not gonna. There's not. There's no. There's no down years. You know. There's no. There's yeah. no. There's no years where. If you're doing. If you're doing it right and you're doing it consistently, I think that's about as, as a program. As a program. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And I think that's why volleyball has an opportunity to win back-to-back state titles. And I mean, it's not easy. And, no. Uh, and, they, and that's why. I, I mean, we talked about that in that meeting. I was like, you know, like we, we've been continuously successful because. You're not just going to step in and be type A, like Michael Jordan yeah. competitor. You know, you you learn to be that from giving consistent effort. Like we've got people like you know, I use Blake Cogden as an example. I said he's a freshman, JV. We put him out there, like he he, he comes to in the state in, well, semifinals uh, against Summit. Sorry. We put him against the returning state champ and said you got one job, and he did his job. Like it takes people like that. Like it takes, and I was trying to like relate it to them. Like, look, there's gonna be some of you that are gonna have to give consistent, great effort with, you know, not letting balls drop, like digs, like going after it. You know, you know not many, letting off. How many girls on the team now were in the finals last year? Do you know? Uh, that played. Like they were, were starters. I mean, how many starters did they return? Um, I mean, how many out on the court? Six. Five, six, seven, six. Six. There's six on the court. Kinsley, uh, Lauren Hurst, uh, uh, Lily O'Brien is on that team. I'm trying to think, three or yeah, four. Three or four. So uh, I think three. I think there's there's one freshman. So they're gonna have two or three girls that have never like been. Gunny. In. I think Gunny. Gunny's a freshman. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think she she starts so uh, like. And she's a pre- she's a freshman this year. She's a freshman. So so she's like yeah, one of the ones that's it'll like. Be you gonna know, have to learn how to be. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, so it's gonna be interesting to see how those two or three girls that weren't there last year, well, two two sides, how the the new girls respond to the light and the, and the pressure, right? And how the girls that returned, how they take that experience from last year. And I wonder, I just, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna either, I mean, it should help them. You yeah. know, they've been there before, right? Um. But it'll be interesting to see, you know, what that experience from last year uh, does this year. Because I think in the bracket, I know they lost to Maribel, but they've beaten Maribel right multiple times, I think. And then up top, I think is Nolansville. Nolansville is probably one of the better teams outside of Cleveland. Yeah, so I think I'm, that I'm just looking at the bracket. I think I mean talking with Amy because I mean I like I don't I don't yeah. call volleyball like yeah. religiously like you know uh, some of these volleyball. Fans that'll be watching this, but uh, any of the teams could win. Like yeah. it, it's like th- this one's lost to this one. This one's lost to this one. You know, kind of like they're, they're every everybody's lost to somebody. You who, know, it's who like did, who's going to show up? Who did they this play weekend? in the finals last year? It wasn't. It was Brent. Who went Brent? Uh-huh. Was it? Um, I, I'm just curious if that team's back. I thought it was Nolansville. I thought it was Nolansville, yeah, no but it could have been. Just I may be thinking that because they were at Nolansville High School. Yeah. Were, were they at Nolansville High School? I don't know. Uh, but Nolansville is consistently one of the better teams. Yeah. That have, I don't know if they played them this year or not. Um, no. But they start, they, when do they start tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, they play yeah. one game a day. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, championship will be on Friday. So, so I mean, I, I don't know if they'll play a game, have a day off a game. Like I don't, I don't really know how the schedule works. But, but I mean, <laughs> if we know, if we didn't know we were going to talk about this, we could have probably had all that yeah. information. But it's, it's uh, just, I, they had a rough. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, you look at uh, they won it last year, and me as being a stupid volleyball fan, like I don't know anything about it, and like they, were, I think they took a couple losses early, but I think they've been on tear lately, and like domin- yeah. like not winning. Like I guess you have to win three sets or something like that. They've been. Crushing they, everybody. Yeah, they hadn't so lost like, a set in like six games it's or like, something. It's like, all right, game time. Game time. You know, time now, to turn it on. Yeah, now's when it matters. Yeah. Um, and that's a testament to the their their leadership and the kids and, and the coaches that you know, you you gotta you gotta have them in the right mindset. Um, yeah. they have to they have to be focused but but relaxed. Yeah. Um, and that I mean, at the start of the year, like I talked to Amy, she 
she came to me and she was like, you know, how, how do you win consistently? I said, honestly, like once you've like built the program, it's, it's more about managing yeah. their mindsets yeah. more than anything. It's, I mean, the, the talent's there. Like you gotta you gotta figure out how to manage their 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 mental strengths. Yeah. Uh, and that. Yeah. that yeah, keep keeping them in like keeping them in the right mind frame, keeping them positive, but also being tough on them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. which is kind of hard to do, but and not getting it's like a, yeah, um, it's just a, a good last balance. year. Last year's championship was last year, and more than anything else, every game I know with us, every every time we wrestle somebody, we're getting their best. Yeah, we don't. We, nobody's nobody's overlooking Cleveland. Cleveland. I think I think that's one the beauty of our situation is our kids are getting everybody. Yeah, talk everybody. about girls wrestling a little bit. Like I mean you, you won a state championship this yeah, year. I mean, like last year. Now you got a chance to go back to back. Like how, like how, like do you have a game plan? Like, I mean honestly we don't even we don't even talk about it. Yeah. Not yet. I mean right now we're they're just, aware of it, obviously, but yeah. Well, I think they're aware of it because of the boys program. Yeah. And they're like, oh, crap, that's the expectation. But, I mean, we don't need to talk about it yet. Because right, right, right. I don't ever. Go ahead. We just, we got a great group returning. And, uh, you know, like, yeah, I mean, now we're looking at getting girls into college. And, and, like, we have a couple of girls going on visits. So, like, now it's bigger than that for me. Because now I'm like, man, we get to help get, get to this impact girl. our life. Yeah, yeah we, get to, get these, just we get to get these girls' education. And, right. So, it's cool. We get, yeah, like, it's I mean, it's really like, fun. Um, it's cool that, that they, in love with the sport in a year, yeah, and then and they I don't know, but like, I mean, I don't, I, I feel like you had like a huge part of this, but like Trey McDaniel, that's the, the first time when, oh. when when Trey when Trey decided to go to the army, yeah, what well, I was like, like we we did we did a good job, yeah, well, and I, and I think Trey Jackson Trey, Bradford decided to go to Siddle, like we yeah, did a good job, yeah, like you well, know, they, they look like, at the snowball, I mean, now Ann Ash is at Grinnell, and just for brothers where they Arlo's at, at you know, Lindsey Wilson, like. These kids, number one, they fell in love with the sport and they want to keep doing it, which is right. not easy. No. Especially since they've been doing it since they've been five years old. Yeah. And then they're going to say, I'm going to commit to another four or five years. That's yeah. like one of my proudest, like, as a coach, like, the kids that go on to wrestle, yeah. like, but, continuously, they, 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 they finish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I think that's a, a testament to kind of our culture here. Like, we make wrestling fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's so. It, Wrestling is such a like tough sport. It would be really, really easy to off. make it miserable. And they're being successful. Like yeah. they're not. They're, I mean, a lot of kids can go to college, go to wrestle, and then like, and not make it. Yeah, I did. You know, but I think these guys. I mean, they're thriving, yeah. and they're not going to. I mean, they're going to academically challenging schools where they have to manage that load both sides. But. Um, Moving back, that's a a, I think it's a huge testament to our school too. Like, yeah. you know, like the, yeah. it, it, and a lot of people want to talk about the academics. It's like, oh, you know, we, we deal with it all the time. Private school, public school, yeah. uh, academic. We put you a, get we, what you want we, out of this. We put a kid in freaking Cornell. Yeah, we put a kid at West Point. We got a kid going to uh, Air Force Academy. Like, these are academically challenging. Like, you get what you t- you. I mean, it's your your parental support at home is the biggest thing. Right. Are, are your parents challenging? Are your parents supporting you? Are you uh, but are you? I mean, are you taking advantage of every situation when you come to school? Are you sitting in the front asking questions? Are you? Do you right. want to do good? If yeah. you don't, then you're not. I mean, I don't care if you go to, you know, private school or, or public school. If you're not proactive and and uh, taking a, a, an advantage of of all the resources around you, you're not going to get anything out of it. Right. It doesn't matter where you go. But, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But moving back a little bit, we're talking about you know they're back to back, they're going again. What's volleyball. The, you're talking about. Yeah, volleyball. Okay. Um. So what's the biggest uh, factor in being able to do that? And being able to go back to back. What? Yeah, to be put in the opportunity to, to win another championship. Uh, I mean, I, I I think it's a, a well, obviously. I, I don't think anybody would argue you. You got to have the athletes. Yeah. I mean, you can't you can't win you can't you typically win with half a team. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but I mean, like, like so you got to have you got to have numbers, right? So I think that, but 
you got to have uh, a culture too that involves kids, kids valuing these, it. You can't just have athletes. You have to have, you have, to have these no, kids well, have to hey, know yeah, how to yeah. play ball. Like right, right, yeah, yeah. Like you're not teaching them in a year. No, 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 no. So these, yeah, yeah. But I, I think, so like, sorry, I, I was taking it to the most basic thing. You gotta have, you gotta have enough kids to put on the court, what's, right? But then, like, what to be able to win it back to back? Yeah, uh, you gotta have experienced kids. Yeah. So, know? like, what I don't know anything about Amy's like feeder program. So you were telling me a little bit about like. Oh yeah. So uh, all those girls play, all the all the serious serious girls are are she's got a club, and then they uh, then they do travel ball like K two and. Yeah, I don't really understand all of it because there's so many. Like you get, it's like a, like an all star teams. Yeah. You know what I mean? You and get. You, do you know how? You get. Do you know how involved picked. Amy is in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, I mean, is she, she heavily involved, like in the youth, in the youth stuff. She's heavily people? involved in, in, in. I don't even know what the name of her club is. Yeah. Like all the girls play that up to a certain point, and then they get, like, picked for, for yeah. certain other teams, like. So it'd be, it'd be safe to say that Amy probably knows the fourth graders, fifth graders, sixth graders, seventh. Oh yeah, she knows all that, that are coming up. Yeah. So yeah. she knows the you know what kind of talent she's coming up, and then once you know that, you can evaluate where do I need to put more focus. Um, right. Well, great. Like that's that's what we do. So like, we'll, and I, I mean, there there's like, like I said, I'm not an expert on this, but uh, there there there's a point where like I've talked to her. There's a there's a buy-in phase. You know what I mean? Like this kid's bought in. Like yeah. let's start. You yeah. know she knows them. She knows them before they get here. Like she knows, like four or five years out. Yeah. Like which kids are gonna be bought in to yeah, you competing? Can, you, can, you can get a really good group and win it once, right? And then be totally not, not relevant, good. Then not sure. relevant. Yeah. Like for another three or four or five years. Right. You have to have a feeder program. Yeah. yeah. Now I don't know how there's this. There's, I know this. There's is not structured the same way that like wrestling is. Yeah. Like it, it's a little bit different, but it's, but it's organized. Yeah. You know, and she know, she knows all the people. Like, I'd be curious to ask her how it works. Like, like are they all? I mean, are are they city city schools? Or, or do they, a lot of those all star or the club they, they bring in to everyone. No, no, no. Like the, 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 the coach, the, the coach that coached for Maryville, the team that they lost to. Yeah. Uh, that they also beat, but uh. They're, like she's like one of the coaches in the K two like like stuff or I, I I may be wrong about so you're what, saying it is Cleveland City Schools or not like it it's it's not to so it's, an op- it's just opportunities for these girls right it would be like them. us uh you know like minions uh, like, minions like, yeah 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 they're, yeah. Or, yeah they're finding a club team yeah okay. so I mean there's challenges there too because you don't know what girls are coming to the middle school I mean you know what I'm saying because if, if oh you know, I think he did like so. Like I said, it's structured different. Well, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Like she has her own like Cleveland yeah. girls okay. like up to a certain part of the year when it swaps over to I guess AAU and like they travel, go, then they and then go. they branch out. So they get basically recruited off of her club so like to go. Said. Yeah, just yeah. like Minion you, would you like get on appropriate teams. Yeah, that, right. Yeah. yeah. So it it is structured a lot, kind of like ours, but. When, when, I think once they go to that, because it's a different sport, yeah. right? You you gotta you gotta mesh with the team. Well, yeah. You know I mean, what I mean? Because you're playing a team sport. So once they swap over to that AAU season, I think like certain, they're specifically they're looking, for they're looking for certain positions, and they're practicing specifically with that club. Yeah. And that club may be located in Knoxville, and maybe yeah. located here, and they you know what I mean? Like so. I'd be curious. How many of the girls on our team now are like year-round training? Like how, how like how many of them? Like, oh, I would like, I would say out of the out of the starters, all of them. I well, wouldn't say all of them because uh, some, some of them are multi-sport them are athletes. Like Lily, Lily's jam is softball. You know yeah. what I mean? Like so she. Yeah, so she's gonna be she, doing that most of the, you know, most, of the most of the year. So uh, and Lauren, you know, she plays basketball and, but I know she does volleyball stuff during basketball season. So that's so I think she does do it pretty much yeah. year round. So I would say probably out of starting six, and I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's four, four yeah. out of six, play around. Kind of like our yeah. wrestling program. I yeah. mean, we got kids that like Lucas. He wrestles a little bit year round, but 
when it's football season, he, he does football. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I would say we, I mean, honestly, we don't have, we maybe a little less than half our lineup. Right. Is year, like, like really, Real, year, really year like, round. Yeah, like going yeah. to Puerto Rico and that stuff. No, no, I mean, I don't, like, I mean, you don't have to have a full team. I mean, you don't need a team. No, 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 no. You're not going to get that unless you're recruiting. When you're that's a whole other thing. When you're when you're recruiting, that's that's when you're gonna. And I think that's like why we're our, it, our kind of like uh, motto is provide opportunity. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like we're gonna be here. The door's gonna be open. Like I know you got other stuff going on. Yeah. Jump in when you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, be here when you can. It's it really a lot on the kids and their parents. Yeah. More so than us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. We just provide the opportunity to good coaches. That's cool. I mean, I'm be interesting to watch over the next few days. Yeah, I'd like. I want to pull up the bracket. I don't know what day it is. Okay, uh, East Hamilton, Collierville, Westridge, Lanesville, they don't play Houston, Maryville. Yeah, they, their first game's tomorrow. Tuesday, October 17th at 5 p.m. Who are they playing? Brentwood. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, historically a good, good yeah. program. Uh, they're on the same side as Maryville. But you know, it, this is another thing that is like completely weird to me: the fact that um, they can lose, they can lose on the front side, and still come back and win. The yeah, whole thing. Did that last year? They ended up playing the the team that lost. Like I know, I but they lost the first round and they came back and won it, didn't they? No, 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 no. no. They didn't. Another team they, lost. Yeah, another team lost, and they ended up playing them in, in the championship. Yeah. I think it was a team that they beat. Uh, I want to say it was Nolensville, but. Uh, I'm not 100 percent accurate on it, but I think like Cleveland beat them on the front side in the semifinals, not the semifinals. I guess quarterfinals. Maybe it was the quarterfinals. They beat them. They, they went down, and they ended up having to beat them again. Which it was the team. I think that was the team that they were most like worried about. So it's like kind of, kind of stunk that they had yeah, to beat them twice. Beat them twice, and I think they beat them pretty good. Yeah, they didn't lose a set. So Lily's a senior. Her, she's younger. She's right? a junior. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kinsley, senior. Maybe senior. Senior. Yeah. It'll be interesting. I'm I'm excited to watch. I'm gonna go up Friday. When when they make the final. On the same day. Yeah, but the boys' brackets are so much bigger. So the girls only wrestle Sunday. Oh, okay. So yeah. Senna and all the middle school and elementary kids will wrestle Sunday. Yeah. And then Trace will wrestle Saturday. Yeah. So our big big term of the year before you know, officially when we get back. I mean, we have one week and then we have two more weeks of preseason. Yeah. And then season starts thirtieth. And then get rolling. You guys. <laughs> you guys. You guys have like a. Let's not start talking about wrestling yet. <laughs> you guys. Huh? So let's not start talking about wrestling yet. Yeah, you just start. You're not. This, this is our. This week we start. You start. Every day? Well, no, we, we, we're, we're like building up. Practices will be a little bit longer. Week, we'll yeah. start doing some live. So you'll go Monday through Thursday now? Monday through Thursday. But yeah, we're, we're, we're gearing up. And then you have two weeks of preseason. Nothing in November except for certification because you you're not doing a match before Thanksgiving. No, uh, first, well we 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 do, but it it's away. It's at Howard, we wrestle Howard on the twentieth. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, and it's at Howard this year. Uh, and then the first home is Macaulay in that week. Yeah, Thompson. Thompson. Do you know how good Thompson is? Uh, I mean, they're returning state champs. 
in Alabama. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, my college young, but yeah, they got some kids really that can wrestle. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, curious if they have those football players out. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they they should. should. Just, but it, it just depends. Yeah. It'll be close. Like it, they'll probably have them out. But will they? They may have only had like a couple of days of practice because yeah. I think the uh, football state championship is like. The so week before that. Yeah, most probably be in there. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. I would think. And then your your December schedule. So you got Macaulay, Thompson. You going to Dalton for duels? Yeah. Then you got Cleveland duels. Cleveland duels next week. Then you're going to Indiana. Indiana for the. Uh, for the. What school is it at? I've never been there. I mean, it's, it's Crown Point. Crown Point. It's, I mean, Crown Point's top ten in the country, yeah. probably. And yeah, the, the list of teams that crazy. are coming to that are ridiculous. And then get back from that. And that's it. Uh, then we'll have a week off around Christmas. Uh, and then we'll go to Power A. So and we may, we, yeah, we may still have the possibility of us, uh, you know, going to that Saudi tournament over Christmas break. Let's do it. Uh, and then we everything yeah. chills out from the postseason. I mean, not really the postseason. Really, the really it's one month of travel and grind, getting beat up, and then yeah. in January and yeah, the first two weeks of, of then we're going to our dual season, and then we're just gonna get healthy, get healthy, get ready. Yeah, that we weren't going to talk about wrestling. Yeah. Let's get back on volleyball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think, I mean, trying to win seven in a row. So, and that's. I think people. I think it's it's almost to the point now where people are expecting it to just happen. Yeah. But like, it, there's so many factors that go in to being able to do it, and it's not it's like it's not like sh- sh- you show up February 21st or whatever it is, and or February 3rd. Yeah. The duels and like, oh, we want it. Like, there's a lot of stuff that like I think this year we've done more than we've ever done, and not wrestling. Like, yeah, you know we're you know we're trying to evolve. I think that's the biggest thing is if we're not constantly evolving, then eventually it's going to get stale and we're going to get faded out. Like, right, our facility's got to constantly get updated. Um, we have to stay present on social media. We have to you know build our brand. We have to uh, constant. I mean, constantly focus on developing. Start a park. Start a podcast. Start a podcast. <laughs> constantly developing our youth. So you know, in our eyes, like this year is already taken care of. Whether we win or whether we lose, there's not a lot we can do. Yeah, we stay healthy. I mean, Prepare them. Yeah, yeah. We just make sure we take care. So there's not a lot we can like. So like we're. I mean, we have to focus on the next year and the year after right. that and the year after yeah. that. And we look at our lineup like, all right, what well, this is projected, you know, where we're going to be at, like, just so when we get in three years, we get to this point again. It's like a business, you know, you do, you, you know, market, uh, like, when, uh, is it forecasting, like market for, like you're you're trying right. to predict what's going to happen in yeah. your future, like you're growing, so like if you're growing and a I bit, think like, if you like, wait, if you wait until that year, it's too late. It's too late. You missed the market. You know, we have to. Looked at last year, Lucas is, you know, Tyson, like, we were like, these guys got to get bigger, you know. Yeah. So, like, there was a huge focus on making sure those guys are big enough for those weight classes that they're jumping up to. Right. Um, and I think it's, 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 there's so much that goes, be, goes on behind the scenes. And, I, and, and, and like, like, oh, it well, just so happens that they got a guy that can of, win it at this way. You know, <laughs> you, you see, a lot of programs do a lot. Yeah. Um, but I think the, the word, like, is it consistent? Yeah. You know, how long are you doing this for? How long are mm-hmm. you, I mean, if it's if it's that important, it's it's got to be priority. Consistent. It's got to be priority consistently. Yeah. You know, we've been here yeah, 15 years, and it's been consistent. Right. And I think I can genuinely say I think we've gotten better every year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and maybe the maybe our 
better not 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 better as in like no, no, no. wrestling we've, wise. Yeah, or, we, I mean we've we just, we've improved the program. Right. You know, every right. year we 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 find something that we could do better at. Yeah. You know, whether it's like we just had a and I think you know, like, I get that question a lot. Like when like after you win the like, from the newspapers, how do you how do you keep it from being like you said stale? Yeah. You know? I think it's like we're always setting new goals. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like okay, we like it's coaches off podcast yeah. like it, the things that we're trying to do like how can we just improve upon what we're doing yeah you know and what did we do like what did we do that wasn't very beneficial let's yeah. throw that out that yeah. didn't work you know what i mean like uh, yeah, that's there's a lot of it a lot of it yeah, we, <laughs> a lot, we, we do a lot of stuff a wrong lot of stuff up, but i think if you don't constantly bring those ideas and try them out yeah. you know what's the old saying you know throw it, throw it against the wall see what sticks yeah you know what and, I mean? like, and most of it doesn't no. But the stuff that does, it, 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 it separates our program from every other program. Yeah. Um, but I think the, the biggest thing is just how, how long are you, like that, that quote, how long are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? So, yeah. Like, we don't know when we're done. Right. But we're going to give it everything we got for the kids until we're done. And, it, and I think our effort's been consistent when, it, when it's not easy. Like, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of other stuff going on. I got a family. You got golf, right. and they right. both they both maximize our time. Yeah, and like we have to find ways to make sure the program gets what they need first, and then our lives come second. Yeah, um, but but I mean, I, I look at how many like what we're doing is building, like bringing people people in as as far as our like, our, yeah. our coaching staff. Oh yeah, we've had more more help this year. Leading this year than we've ever had. Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's, <laughs> and our numbers aren't getting any bigger. Our numbers get smaller, probably. If anything. Yeah, it, it, the boys' numbers. Are... But I think the demand that it takes to run a program, and and everybody's like, no, no, these, these people aren't getting paid buku's of money. Like, you know, yeah, these people yeah. want to if they're get paid at all. If they're getting paid, some at of all, them aren't getting yeah. paid at all. Some of them just want to be a part of yeah. what we're doing. They just well, and like, and I, I feel like we do things the right way. We work hard. We're in the room all the time. We make sure the kids are taken care of, and there's so many things that we need help, like we need help with that we can't do all on our own. That people are willing to come in here and not get the spotlight. Yeah, you know we, have, you know. Well, I think not. Like, coach, I mean, and I know. think that has to do not just with our success, but our like our culture of like our character kids. You yeah. know what? Yeah, we got. They group. see they see kids like Logan Fowler, Cy Fowler, like. Colt behind, like, just, like, name a kid on our team. Yeah. Lucas, and Bruce, like, and they're like, man, that kid, not only is he good at wrestling, he's like, he's a good kid. Yeah. Like, what, like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, that's, that's like one of the, the, the as a coach, like, I'm most proud of. Like, yeah. our kids are awesome kids. Yeah, they are. Like, yeah. well behaved, they don't get in trouble, they take care of their grades, they work hard, they win championships. Like, I mean, what else are you gonna ask for? Yeah. I don't know. Like, well, no. I mean, that's, why, that's why <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna ask for something else. I don't know. We'll it may not we'll stick. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I, that that just is kind of a testament to the to the program that you know we're just going to continuously try to improve on how we can do things better for the kids. So. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna have a few. Oh, I wasn't even in the uh, yeah I episodes wasn't. in the near future, kind of isolating those things. Yeah, uh, whether it's fundraising, whether it's um, um, improving your facilities, whether yeah. it's uh, getting community your, relations, yeah, culture, yeah, like, just the community, like, getting them involved. That's 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 probably one of the biggest biggest things. We've had, like, we could probably do our, like two our podcasts. Banner, on our that. banner sales this year have have been crazy of people just wanting to be. Connected and, and, and support the kids. Yeah. Um, and we value that. That's why we're going out of our way. We're making commercials and TikTok yeah. videos with the kids. And like, so the we, kids uh, literally, we couldn't do it without them. Like, I, I, yeah. they're, they're like, everybody, I think a lot of people think that, you know, things are just taken care of. Yeah, no, like, like they, a, there's we, a lot of people that put, how, how much put was, their money where their mouth is. You know was, what I mean? Like, how, how much, much do you really support? How much was your, your, your ring invoice this year? Uh, it was like fourteen, fifteen thousand yeah, so dollars. So we spent 
about twenty three thousand dollars just on the rink. Yeah, and the school covered some of it, and the others, the rest of it. Yeah, we had to get taken care of. Whether the kids were the kids were paying for it, the the banner sales were helping cover some. Like that's a lot. That's a lot of money that you know people aren't just forking over you know checks for us. You know, right? Just, so like we've had we uh, that that that's been one of the biggest surprises to me this year, just how many people want want to help us. Yeah, want to help us. Want to help us. You know, yeah. It's really cool. Like, I mean, it, it really like is special. And you know what I mean? Like, it's not It's not like, not yeah. one bit. Like and because and that's I think that why we want to do these commercials. And I feel like uh, this is I like I I was so excited about the the, the little TikTok commercials and that kind of stuff. It's, yeah. it's like finally like we figured out how. Just to say, say thank you, yeah. you know what I mean, like, yeah. like uh, in a way that's gonna benefit the people in our community that support us. Yeah. Like, you know, like some of these commercials and ads that have like and over, that's th- over a thousand views. I'm like, that means something to somebody who like a and business I, like Quirky's and who's I, making and, sandwiches. And that, that connects to why we're doing this. Yeah. So we're doing the podcast in hopes that we get more people tuning into what we're doing. So when we play these commercials for these businesses that have been supporting us, they're you know they're Return of investment, larger. Yeah. You know, there's more, I, there's more this is this is. Yeah, I mean, you know me. Yeah. He like, how, I, how much do I hate what we're doing right yeah. here? Like, I just don't like. I don't ever like being in the limelight kind yeah. of stuff. And so, like, for us to sit down and do this, this, this isn't about us. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but I and I hope and I hope that other programs can take some take a little bit from what we what we talk about and apply it to their own because everything that we've done. We stole it from somebody. Yeah, we've watched other programs, whether they're professional programs, college programs, other high school programs. We've seen other things done. You know, you watch the the Clovis Buchanan dual meet out in California. Yeah, we try to emulate what they're doing all the time. They do yeah. a great job. Fantastic. You know? Yeah, I mean, they, they the band and they're dancing, they the lights. And so, like everything we do is taken from somebody. So, and I think if you want to grow, you got to be willing to. To, to evolve, <laughs> and just and just let your guard down and say, hey, maybe we should try that if we really want to, you know, improve our situation. Um, and so what I was saying before is we're gonna start releasing different episodes um, um, regarding different topics and what's up with this hiding there? Um, fundraising. Um, yeah, just I mean, like, and I don't, I, and like, I'm not trying to say like. This is how it should be done. This is what but we do. people like. I mean, this is just what we do. It yeah. works for us. Some of it works. Some of it's. We may come up with ideas on here and talk about it. And just say, ask the general public. What What do you think about that? Like, yeah. you know, we we're always open. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like this isn't. And we understand. Like, we have a great situation. Right. Like, we have great resources. We have fantastic support. Um. But at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta you gotta work with what you have. Yeah. Um. And that one thing you can. I mean, I've coached at other places where I didn't have yeah. research. Like, I mean, it was we we rolled mats up every day, like yeah. that and kind of stuff. We won state championships, and we won state championships. Yeah. I won two. Like, a lot of people don't know that. We, I won two state championships at Chattanooga, at Chattanooga, at Chattanooga, 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 Chattanooga Central yeah. before I came to Cleveland. So, but and so I don't want anybody like watch us and be like, well, they have it. It's easier for them. Well, it, yeah, it it is a little easier for us, but that doesn't mean we're just gonna sit on it and ride. Like, <laughs> we got to get better, and yeah. and and we're gonna. You know, we got we're gonna do our research and, and see what we can improve and and like you said before, we want to provide opportunities for the kids and that's gonna be never ending. Yeah, we, we gotta constantly evolve. Um, so any suggestions or topics that maybe we could give some insight to how we do it, let us know. Um, or if you got suggestions on stuff we should do. Yeah. Like you think, hey, listen, I, uh, I'm not at your your school or whatever, like, listen, we don't, we, I don't know every day. Like, yeah. I mean, what Dan Gable, like, one of his favorite, like, my favorite quotes is, I can learn something from anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, that was one, of, like, a lot of people think, that, you know, his quotes is, uh, once you've wrestled everything in life, it's easy. But my favorite quote was, you learn something from anybody. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so that'll be hopefully next week. What? What? <laughs> there we go. There we go.
first podcast. We'll, we'll get it all figured out. Maybe we'll get those labeled or something. <laughs> and maybe we'll get John Weiss to make an appearance. This the is voice. the voice.